silliest part you want to marry me, niece Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't hit the bed. Around the world in 80 days. Passepartout. So far, me marry Belinda Mays. Passepartout. It's come down. Yes, Lord Mayor. Stop Bob from travelling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Bob may fail because of bricks. And then Bob mixes his tricks his tricks around the world with pasta soup. Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Six to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Six. Around the world in 80 days, so Bob may marry Blinda Mays. Around the world with pasta it's all settled, Pass Part Two. We join the caravan leading for Baghdad this afternoon. That is wonderful. Now we will reach Baghdad in time to make the steamboat for Basra. Precisely. We'll be right on schedule again. Where are you going? Out for a calendar, monsieur. While our caravan crosses the desert, there is one day when we will see the moon and the sun. Ah, yes. A solar eclipse. I wish to get a calendar so I can keep track of the days. I would not want to miss such a thing. Very well. But, but, but hurry back. We must start packing the bag. Captain, how soon do we dock at Gaza? In only five minutes, milady. We're right on time. Thank goodness. We must reach Phileas and Passport too quickly. I haven't stopped worrying for a minute since I found a copy of the terrible plan my uncle sent to Mr. Fix. Poor, poor Passport too. Hope he doesn't go out alone. I beg your pardon, monsieur, but could you tell me where I might purchase a calendar? There is a gift shop only three blocks in that direction. I am sure they will have a calendar. Ah! Well, now, Mr. Fix, it seems the lad wants to buy a calendar. And it seems that, according to orders from Lord Mays, we want to capture Passepartout. Have you got a plan, Mr. Fix? Have I got a plan? Have I got a plan? <laughs> I'll fix that passepartout! Around the world in 80 days, passepartout, so fuck me, Marie Blinder, passepartout! Parlez-vous! What is the meaning of this? A thousand pardons, Effendi, but we are proud to announce that you are our thousandth customer. You get anything at half price. But I am not a customer at all. I have no need of rugs. I am only interested in calendars. And that is our specialty. Your sign says this is a rug shop. But we sell calendar rugs, Effendi. The finest made. Here is our latest model. That is only a plain rug. I do not see any calendar on it. Of course not. It is for night. The dates can only be seen in the dark. Here, let me close the awning and show you. Bye, Boo! What is this? Stop! Help! Help me! Help! Help me! Help! <laughs> Looks like your snug is a bug in a rug, eh, mate? Yeah. 
Capture Fatu. Take him to Palmyra, land of Queen Zenobia. Quickly, Belinda. Perhaps there's still time to save the lad. <coughs> Here are two of my fastest camels. 
This one is fine for me, but the lady must have the solid white one. Over there. Solid white? That will be costly. I don't mind the cost. This should cover it. Thank you, Effendi. Get up, come out! <laughs> Very nice of you, Phineas. But I don't care about the colour of my camel. It isn't really important. But it may be, my dear. Remember, the little things in life are like links in a chain. They never seem important by themselves. Men and women with shovels. 
They're shouting at the wall. That's the wall around Damascus. But by Joe, what can have happened? It's your fault. No, it's yours. Very old, sir. Where is the key? What seems to be the trouble? All the people of Damascus came out here with shovels to dig a thread. They protect our city against the band of robbers. And while we were out here, the wind blew the gate shut and locked us out. We can't get in. We have only our shovels, but no keys. Perhaps they are keys. How strange. Use them the same way Alexander the Great used them to unlock the walls of Gaza. Come, all of you, dig here. They will crawl through and open the gate. No, we can't get in. The stranger did it. There is no way we could repay you, cold stranger. But let us give you something. There is no need. It would be an honor for us. Perhaps a sample about Damas silk. Well, if you insist, I fancy that cloak. This one? And uh, now, the purple one, please. Whoa, Camel, whoa! Uh-oh, the date. Now, whoa! Well, we're here, mate. Right up ahead there is the ruins of Palmyra, land of Queen Zenobia. I'm taking you inside there and standing you on top of one of those columns. But not for long. Monsieur Fogg will rescue me. He never fails. <laughs> you see, already Monsieur Fogg is here. That's not Fogg. It's some blooming natives. They're standing in front of the ruins of Palmyra, land of Queen Zenobia. Then they will stop you. Let's see what Lord May says here in his orders. When you get to Palmyra, land of Queen Zenobia, the natives will stop you from entering. They guard the sacred ruins in honor of Queen Zenobia, who died more than 1,500 years ago. Your only chance to get in there is when it's dark. So your plan is doomed. Monsieur Fogg will be here long before dark. Quiet, you. If you have followed my instructions carefully, Fix, the sky will now start to grow dark. <laughs> Lord May has lost all his senses. It is many hours before dark. But I followed the plan every step of the way. Then the plan is ridiculous, just like you and Lord May. Wait, wait a minute. It's getting dark. But it cannot be. It's... Oh, no. The eclipse. The moon is covering the sun. <laughs> Which means plenty of darkness for me to sneak into those ruins and back out again before it gets light. Lord Mays is a genius. <laughs> At last. Up ahead there are the ruins of Palmyra, land of Queen Zenobia. What's that? The natives are shooting at us. They're protecting the sacred ruins, Fogg, for the ghost of Queen Zenobia. Fix! You've got a nerve to show your face. Don't, Lillian. Get at me, you won't get past for two out of there, Fogg. Those natives stand guard as long as there's light. You won't be able to sneak in until it's night time. But if you wait until dark, Phileas, you'll never catch up with the caravan. You'll miss the steamboat in Baghdad. Exactly the way Lord May sent me, and it figured. <laughs> oh, Phileas, my uncle has won. Now you will never get around the world in 80 days. Put this on, Linda. The purple cloak. And this. The helmet. Blimey, the eat must have got him. Now get aboard the white camel and ride swiftly towards the ruins of Palmyra. I will follow. Fools! You'll both be shot! The golden helmet of Queen Zenobia! The white camel of Queen 
Zenobia. The purple cloak of Queen Zenobia. The ghost of Queen Zenobia. The ghost of Queen Zenobia. <laughs> Again. I've got to get to Baghdad and wild old money for what happened. Get up! Get up, Camel! The dikes! Empty! The bag is empty! And this blooming camel won't budge! Who would believe it, Mr. Fix? Who would believe a little thing like a date could be so important? The little things in life are like links in a chain. They never seem important by themselves. I think I got the message. <laughs> Good job, Pastato! Around the world in 80 days, Pastato, so Bob may marry Brenda Mace. Pastato, Bob may fail because of fix, unless Bob nicks his fixes his tricks. Around the world with Pastato. Around the world in 80 days, so Bob may marry Linda Mays. Around the world with...